Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Beyond the Bay. This week's movie is Yankee Doodle Dandy, and I'm Ted Kroll, and I'm pleased to introduce this film from 1942, which stars James Cagney. This is one of Cagney's finest roles, and it's the movie he won an Academy Award for, and it's a rare that a actor wins for a musical comedy like this one. Ostensibly, this is the film biography of George Cohan, who wrote many patriotic songs. And so this movie is just chock full of uh, patriotic uh, wave, flag-waving numbers, such as Over There and um, Yankee Doodle Dandy. George Cohan was a very popular uh, musical comedy star and uh, writer. Um, it, it, and Yankee Doodle Dandy, it says he was born on the 4th of July, and that was a story that was kind of concocted. Actually, he was born on June, July the 2nd. Um, he grew up in a family that was on the stage, just like we had with Buster Keaton a couple of weeks ago. Um, and there was the four Cohans that were very popular in, on, on Broadway doing musical comedy kinds of things. And that's where he got his start. And he, he became sort of the star of the group. So the early part of the film shows the the family, the uh, four Cohans. And here's an interesting picture of the four Cohans. And then um, the, you could see the way that was duplicated, uh, the same picture with the, the stars of the film. And the, car the, the woman who plays Josie, the sister is uh, played by James Cagney's actual sister. As with most movies of this, you know, biographic movies of this era, things were exaggerated a bit. And there's this very uh, tender, sort of hokey tender scene of, 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 of James uh, and Walter Houston with the father dying there. It obviously did not happen this way. In fact, um, Cohan's daughter said that this is the life that Cohan wished he had lived. There's a statue to Cohan on Broadway, probably because he had wrote Give My Regards to Broadway, among other songs. He probably would not be remembered so much today except for his songs and this movie Yankee Doodle Dandy. He wanted to have Fred Astaire play the role, but Fred Astaire did not have that style of dancing and so they had to look around for somebody else. They asked Cagney. At first, Cagney did not want to do the role because he did not like Cohan's politics. But because Cagney was listed as being a possible communist, he wanted to clear his name and um, become just a, a true blue American, so he went ahead and decided that he would do this movie. It, it would be in his best interest. Cagney was known for his tough guy roles, his arrogance and brashness, and, uh, you know, taking care, making sure the women knew their place, like the grapefruit here. And uh, there's this great movie, uh, White Heat, where he says, I'm on top of the world, Ma, and then he, everything blows up. But he got his start in show business as a dancer uh, and chorus lines and that kind of thing on Broadway. And so here's a couple of pictures of showing him um, doing his dancing. Unfortunately, they need to show nothing of his brilliance as a dancer, um, e even though um, that was one of his great talents. And so um, doing Yankee Little Dandy gave him an opportunity to show off some of his talents that had been kind of buried for a while. And uh, people really, had really enjoyed um, his exuberance, and that's really what makes this movie, is all his energy. The movie was directed by Michael Tortiz, but apparently he and Cagney really got along well together, and it's really, Cagney was a, really a co-director. Cortiz was a director at, at Warner Brothers and had his start in Hungary and, and made films since 1912 up until the 70s, and he made some of his movies at Warner Brothers were Robin Hood, and then here is uh, Elizabeth in Essex, I think, again with uh, Errol Flynn. And then there's a kind of an interesting movie with uh, Kirk Douglas playing Big Spiderbeck. And of course, uh, Cortese's most famous film is Casablanca. 
Warner Brothers was an interesting studio. Kind of, it kind of had a reputation as working class, but they also did these Busby Berkey spectaculars. But the, again, they had sort of a, a, a blue collar feel about them too. These, even though there were all these beautiful women in doing incredibly uh, elaborate designs and dancing. They also were the only studio that um, dealt with the Nazis before World War II. They were the first studios to introduce sound in 1929 or 27, something like that. And there's Al Jolson doing Mammy. Um, but it, at the same time where there were these caricatures that were kind of typical of the day, the blackface, in, in, uh, in Yankee Doodle Dandy, there's this scene where the, the blacks uh, are standing in front of Abraham Lincoln, which today might seem a little uh, uh, out of taste maybe, but in the day it was quite a thing to have include this kind of scene in the movie. Here's George Raft and Humphrey Bogart in a Warner Brothers movie playing a couple of truckers, something you would not have seen in an MGM or Paramount movie. Here's a couple of production stills. Here's Cagney, Cortez, and James Wan Ho, the cinematography. He's a legend in the industry, and he added a lot to the film. And here's another production shot um, of them doing Harrigan. You have to remember this movie started filming on December the 8th, which on 1941, which was the day after Pearl Harbor was bombed. And so they had all this uh, feeling that they needed to make a film that was upbeat and uh, very patriotic and something to be uplifting. And that accounts for a lot of the, the flag, flag waving that goes on in the movie. And while today we might um, think differently of it, at the time, it is totally appropriate this kind of thing was going on. And besides, this movie is not up to appeal to your intellect. And it is just, it is entertainment. And it is wonderful entertainment. Uh, and it just carries you along. And so much of that is because of Cagney's performance. And it is, this movie is a representation of classic American cinema. I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much.